Hey guys, so we got the May Boxy Charm. I think it's May that we're going to open. It would make sense because we got it mm -hmm. this month, which is May. Welcome to May. Welcome to birthday month. Uh, beautiful husband just had his birthday on the 11th, and mine is coming up on Friday, which is the 22nd. Yep, quarantine birthdays. Yep. Sad and lonely. A little bit. <laughs> All right, my beautiful assistant here will open everything up and you hand it to me. Should have, we shouldn't have pre-cut it. I could have showed off my new birthday present. She got me a knife. I did. I bought him a knife. That's why I married her. She knows me so well. Okay, so there is... Oh, there, there it is. I discarded it. Okay. First thing is... There you go. Oh. The This is from... Ayam Beauty Care, Dead Sea Mineral and Vitamin C Serum Makeup Remover Wipes. I knew what they were before I handed them to you. <laughs> I'm so proud. So I kind of stopped using makeup wipes because I read a lot of stuff about how they're not super good for you to use. And then there's also the excess waste as you can only use one wipe once and then you got to chuck it. But I'll try them out. All right. So these Dead Sea Mineral and Vitamin C Serum Makeup Wipe Removers, Makeup Remover Wipes... Help prevent dark spots while moisturizing and brightening skin. They remove all traces of makeup without causing irritation, leaving skin hydrated and luminous. This is designed for all skin types, including sensitive and dry skin. We shall see. I'm very sensitive. Yeah, My skin's very sensitive. You're very sensitive. All right. This is from Gerald Cosmetics. This is a lip pencil. The lip liner of your dreams. Creamy and pigmented, yet long-lasting to help complement any lip look. Is it brown? Let me see. Am I reading that right? I don't know. Is it brown? It's like a nudie brown. Is it like brown? It's like it's like that. It's like that brown that kind of has a little purple in it. Oh okay. <sighs> Does it look like you have to sharpen it or no? Probably. Probably. Can you help me? Why no, is wait, it never I a sharpener? It. Ha! Usually I mess this up because I can't really see it that well. All right, so. This is probably my favorite thing, my favorite company, Pretty Vulgar. <laughs> That's an awesome name for a uh, makeup company. Yeah. All right. So this is an uncaged eyeshadow primer. Uncaged eyeshadow primer is a blendable, lightweight, skin smoothing formula that will enhance your eyeshadows by making them vibrant and long wearing. Infused with mineral rich clay to absorb excess oil, it will deliver a crease proof, fade proof, translucent finish. That is suitable for all skin tones. Interesting. I mean, I can see where translucent would come in really handy because if you use, like, I use the MAC Paint Pot a lot in Painterly, and obviously that like, has a color to it. Like, I really miss my calling as a, you know, announcer. <gasps> this is Glam Glow, isn't it? This is the Glam Glow Berry Glow Probiotic Recovery Face Mask, a creamy, nutrient-dense Soothing mask with antioxidant-rich berries and probiotics that instantly boost skin, skin's health, restores radiance, and balances skin's biome. Skin's what? Biome. Oh, I thought you said bile. Like, that's disgusting. <laughs> balance the shit out of your bile. So, I always... Does always it told... say if it's a peel-off or is it a wash-off? It does not say. It prob Hold on, it probably says it on here. Let me look for you. Uh, directions. Apply an even layer to clean skin. Leave on for 10 minutes. For best results, tissue off and smooth any excess. If desired, rinse and pat dry. Follow your follow with your normal skin care regimen. So I could probably use this as a sleeping mask because you don't necessarily have to rinse it off. Like mm, There you go. Just get enough off so my face isn't stuck to the pillow. Which is awesome. I and love now, sleeping masks. Bum, 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 is that covered in a lot of bubble wrap? Give me that. I will I will take care of this. Here we have the Violet Voss Essentials Palette. This Violet Voss Essentials Palette is a refreshing new take on essential shades. It includes 10 full-size pans of warm and cool tones and breathtaking matte and metallic finishes. So here we go. I take the little thing off there because that green actually looks really nice. Ooh. So 
You got a little cream, sand, terracotta, gold, emerald, pink, dusty rose, which uh, plumberry, cinnamon, and black. Just black. They don't call it black. Yeah. Not like charcoal or anything fun. Just well, black. Charcoal's a charcoal. So, yeah, it looks like the shiny ones are like the, the cream, the gold, the emerald, the pink, and the plumberry are like the met metallic ones. The matte ones are the, the sand, the terracotta, the dusty rose, the cinnamon. I thought that was Dusty Roads at first, and I got really excited. It's not. <laughs> it never will be. No. That's what That's what I'll do. We'll make a palette named after wrestlers. Call me Jeffree Star. Oh, jeez. Um, so, yeah, it looks really nice, and it's got, you know, the thing you love, a, a mirror on the other side. Well, you I can't know. really use the mirrors in the palettes. Because they're not magnified enough, so I can't see anything. I mean, I can see in the mirror. It's just not helpful. Well, I know you can see in the mirror. And then there's the packaging you know there. What? Sometimes I don't think you can see in the mirror because you don't see how beautiful you are. Shut up. <laughs> um, I really like Violet Voss eyeshadows. I have one of her palettes over there. I'll show it in the, the try-on portion of this. Oh, wow. Yeah. I didn't, didn't even know you had something else by her. I do. I, I have two. I think I have two. I have the neons one and then the one, um, it's like a really warm palette. So this is nice. Um, I sometimes wish that makeup companies would consider that like it's not only fully sighted people that use their palettes and sometimes it's really hard to tell which ones are shimmery or metallic and which ones are matte. So it, like just it would be amazing if maybe they could put like a star next to the shimmery ones or like an m next to the matte ones so maybe people that have low vision could not put a shimmer in their crease and then have to start all over but uh i'm really excited to try all this stuff and i guess we'll get on to that portion of the video so <laughs> well hello there so I'm going to try out the products that I got in the BoxyCharm. I figured since I'm already wearing makeup, I might as well start out with these cleansing cloths and I'm going to be lazy and just take off my eye makeup because I don't really feel like doing my base all over again or my eyebrows because that is the bane of my existence as well as opening this container. There we go. So pull one out. They smell kind of fruity, which I don't mind, but I don't really like fragrance in any of my makeup or skincare products, so I guess I gotta get rid of my eyelashes here. It's the best feeling. And we'll see how they do. I feel like with the, the shimmer I have on my eyelids, it's gonna be tough because shimmer is you know there's always ghosts of it left behind seems to be doing a nice job I'm probably gonna have to redo like my under eye but I'm not really worried so long as that eyebrow stays intact we good And that's like right up on my eye and it doesn't necessarily burn, but it has like a cooling feeling. And these did say that they were good for sensitive skin, so can't get more sensitive than my eyes. They're just sensitive ladies. That's doing a pretty good job. Oh, just kidding. It's like all up in my eye. So I guess I'll do the other eye and uh, catch up with you with the eye primer. All right then. So I did use the wipes and it felt like there was kind of an oily residue. They stopped the like with the cooling feeling after a little bit. Um, I don't know how my eyes are going to react to them because sometimes it's not like an instant thing. But there was a residue. I did remove that just because I was worried how uh, the primer and the eyeshadows would perform over it if I left it there. So 
I will use these again just to see how they remove things. I'm still going to wash my face after using the wipes just because I don't feel like it gets off all of the makeup and I don't want to go to bed with, you know, stuff still on my face because that's just, that's, that's not a good thing. So we're going to use the Pretty Vulgar eyeshadow primer next. And I have my mirror right here on the, um, the side that ruins your self-esteem with magnification, but otherwise I wouldn't be able to see. So yay for me. I'm going to use, mm -mm. there's my phone, a little bit. It does have like a tannish color to it. I don't know if you can see it, but the card said it was translucent. It seems right off the bat like it's going to be one of those stickier primers. It has that feeling to it, like it has that tack. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take my phone off here because it won't stop buzzing posted something really funny on Snapchat and people keep commenting and messaging me and I love it. We live in the country. There were two spiders over there and they were just like, it was a battle royale and I couldn't leave the room because I was trapped in here because I am not a fan of spiders. So I, um, decided to film that. I feel a sneeze coming on. <laughs> Allergies. Yeah, this feels sticky. And there's mascara. Sick. We love that. Um, this feels a little too sticky, maybe, to put eyeshadow over it right away. I might let it dry down a tiny bit. Like, it's starting to dry down on this side. Just so... My eyeshadow doesn't do that like weird skippy thing, but I did grab my other Violet Voss eyeshadow palettes that I was talking about before. I think this is the, the Holy Grail Pro palette and I do really, really like this one. I've obviously used it a ton. Um, big fan. It, um, when I got this, it was kind of between this and that one, uh, Anastasia palette that's like really warm the something romance. I want to say true romance, but that's a movie. That's not right. But I do really, really like this one. And then, um, I'm obsessed with this palette. This is so pretty. It's the neon bright vibes, bright vibes, but it's their neon palette and it is all pressed pigments and I love them and they stain me so bad but I love them so, so, so much. Like they are so pretty and vivid and they're really 80s inspired names. And I like that because my favorite genre of horror, if you could consider it a genre, is anything from the 80s. So that spoke to me. Wow, this dried down a lot. I'm really happy about that. There's just mascara chunks everywhere, but I think I can work with this. I was thinking about doing two different eyes for this trying to use all the eyeshadows I can, but, um, we'll see. It's really hard to tell like which ones are shimmery and which ones aren't shimmery. I think the dark brown, like it looks like the more neutral colors are the mattes, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know if you guys can even see that. Yeah, it looks like the, the actual colors are shimmery. I can't tell. I think the lightest color is shimmery, but it's it's hard. I'm going to swatch it a little bit. Maybe I could tell from there. Yeah, that, yeah, that's shimmery for sure. I don't know if you guys can even see that on my pasty skin, but yep. So glad I have this makeup wipe right here. Um... I mean, there's the problem I have with this is all the colors that are shimmery are the ones that I would want to use. Like, I feel like with my eyes, because they're a little hooded, I don't want to put anything shimmery in my crease, nor would I do that if I didn't have hooded eyes, just because that's my personal preference. But I'm kind of like, I feel more limited into what kind of look I could create. So... Let's just go for it. I have my brushes and my 
color switch right here because I hate cleaning brushes. Um, and then searching for like a brush I actually want to use. I'll go for this guy. Color switch him a little bit. I really like small brushes because I have not the largest eyes in the world. So one of these guys. I think this is BH. I don't even know if you can tell what it is. Does it really matter? Use whatever brushes you like. So that black looks blue to me, but I don't think that's real. Not, not that it's not real, but I don't think that's a fact I should say. Um, I'm going to go with what I think is terracotta. These do build up nicely. There is some fallout, which is another reason why I didn't want to take my base off just to see how easily we could brush the fallout off and very easily. So that's good because I'm messy and I need something that's going to work with me. I kind of feel like this isn't a totally cohesive palette for me at least. Um, but I'm going to keep working with it. I think the dusty rose would probably look nice with this and sand, I think it is. And maybe some of the, the cream that shimmery white will tie it together. That's a lot of fallout. I didn't really tap off my brush too much, so whisk that away. All right, and then sand. And cream, is it? I can't tell. I think it's cream. That white one. That's a really pretty highlight color. I like that a lot. I really want to put that purple in my, like under my eye, but it's shimmery and it will look like hot garbage. So I have like the terracotta color, that warm brown or the black or did or dusty rose, but mm, I feel like that would look weird. I don't know. It's a lot more subtle than anything I would go for. I feel like it just needs something. Maybe darken up that crease. I'm going to go with cinnamon. Darken that up. And then bring some of that terracotta back and bring just a little bit more of that. I like that better. All right, so I'm going to pop on some eyeliner, fix my mascara, and then we'll do the bottom lash line. All right, so I did a wing and some lashes. And are the wings sisters? No. Are they distant cousins? They might be. But we're not judging because let's just not judge. All right. So I'm going to do lower lash line here. 
I'm gonna put some eyeliner on. Where the heck is it? There it is. I'm just gonna use, I think it's LA Girl. <laughs> yep. All right. This LA Girl Ultimate Eye. I'm not like the biggest fan of this, but I just want to use it up before I get another eyeliner that I will also be disappointed in. If you have any recommendations for good um, automatic eyeliners, please let me know. I'm not like a fan of twist up. I am a fan of twist up. That's what automatic is. I'm not a fan of the sharpeny ones because I feel like any chance I can possibly not rub uh, sharp pieces of wood against my eye is, you know, a good thing. And I always over sharpen them and then it falls out and it's just not a good time. I didn't flip my mirror. Hold on. All right. So I'm just going to line the waterline here. And the reason I don't like this eyeliner is because it's not very opaque at all. And I want, you know... There's an eyeliner that I got from MAC before that I really enjoyed, but it was a pencil one that you had to sharpen, and that's a deal breaker, because I just, that's me. So, we'll do the other side here. I think I want to use that green, I think it's called Emerald, the shadow, in the inner corner as a little pop, because this is like a very neutral toned down look and it needs a little something to make it spicy because I am a spicy lady and I like things to look interesting and fun and I like to have fun and isn't that what makeup is just living your best life with two completely different shaped wings two completely different shaped eyebrows just having fun I'm going to smudge that a little with my finger. And it smudges to like nothing because I hate this eyeliner so much. But at least it did something. So, our lash line, I'm going to use that. No, I'm going to use a pencil brush if I can find one. Un Momento is that one that is not. There we go. I think this is a MAC brush. It's a pencil brush color switch that and let's just go for the black I mean why not so use this black here I've learned with these shadows you really do need to tap out everything and I am now actually terrified that there's going to be a lot of fallout under my eye I'm going to blend that into my wing a little bit this is not as pigmented as I thought, but like I'm also tapping it out a whole lot because I don't just want like a blob of black under my eye. I think I'm going to have to use a different brush to blend this a little bit. It laid down nice. I'm not mad about it. Might as well do the other side while we're here before we color switch this brush. I always feel like putting black eyeshadow under my eyes takes me back to my teenage years. A nostalgia. I feel as though with these shadows, you could build them up really well. If you're looking for something a little more sheer, you know, lighter hand. Oh, there's the fallout. Commence the anxiety. I mean, even if it smudges when I brush it away, like, I'm not going anywhere. So it's really not that big of a deal. Is it even? Who knows? Does it matter? It doesn't matter. So, I'm going to color switch this before I forget that I didn't color switch it and then try to go for the green and get black everywhere. And I'm just going to blend it out a little bit with my trusty, I think it's either MAC or Morphe blending brush. A lot of the Morphe brushes I have look exactly like the MAC brushes I have. So it's really hard to tell and sometimes, you know, you don't have someone around to tell you what the little writing on the brush says. 
which is fine. It blended nicely. I'm happy about that. So I did clean this. We're going to go for that little pop of color with emerald right in the corner. I'm trying to get into the, the inner corner colors and not just use like a highlighter because this makes the look way more interesting. Oh, that's pretty. I like that it's not like chunky glitter. It's more of a shimmer. I just heard the weirdest sound in my house. I don't know if the mic picked it up. It was like a cartoon fart. Or a door creaking. Probably a door creaking. We don't have any tunes in this house. Did anyone watch Who Framed Roger Rabbit when they were a kid and just had nightmares forever? I can't even tell which eye I put that on in the camera, but it is this eye. We're going to insert pictures as well so it's just not reading well on here which is fine I'm gonna blend it out with my finger a little bit into that cream color blend it out it's really pretty it has a nice iridescent shift to it And a nice iridescent shift of fallout all over my face. Perfect. We love that. So I'm going to do that on the other side. Yeah, it's definitely not picking up well on camera, but I think it's my lighting. It's not, not a big deal. I need to get rid of this fallout, however, that is a big deal. Okay, so we're going to move on to the lip liner. I can't remember where it's from, but we talked about that in the intro, so. <laughs> All right, I have Vaseline on my lips right now, just giving them a little moisture. So I'm going to wipe that off. Okay. Try this baby out. Looks brown. Is brown. Ooh. It has like a nice cool undertone. Alright, it's pretty. I like it. It's very creamy. Um, it's not as pigmented as I would have liked. I have really pigmented lips. How many times can we say pigmented? But I would have liked more coverage from it. I don't know if I have a lipstick close to this color. I'm going to take a peek. Give me one second. Okay. I think this will work. This is from the Lorac Sleeping Beauty collection. I think it's Trey Chic. I can't read it. It's too small. But I'm going to try it. See how this goes. Uh, not a huge fan of these lipsticks because I am apparently just really rough on tube lipsticks and just like too much and break them. Not bad. Am a fan. Probably broke that more, but it's okay. So I think that pretty much covered all of the products except for this baby here, which I'm going to use, you know, it's like 3.30. I'm not going to bed yet. I still have to do some stuff, so I will use this after I take a shower. Um, I'm going to go the route where you put it on, tissue a little bit off, and then I'm going to sleep with it on, um, which might, like, I like to wear serum, so... Not being able to wear serum will make me a little bit sad, but I'd really like to know how this works. And uh, I think it's like 50 bucks. So for something this little, it better be good. So my thoughts. I like the lip liner. I'm sad that it's not automatic because I'm just really not good at sharpening lip liners and eyeliners or probably colored pencils, but that's okay. I'm surprised that I liked the color as much as I did. I really liked the application. I wish it was a little more pigmented, but 
Obviously, I don't think it's really made to be used all over your lip the way I did. And not everyone has pigmented lips, so I'm happy about this. I'm probably going to need um, my lovely husband's assistance to sharpen it. But, you know, marriage, help each other out. Talk about the eye primer. I was a little iffy with this at first, as you probably saw. But it dried down really, really nicely. Even, you know, taking all that time to do shadow on one eye. When I went to the other eye, I didn't have creasing. It didn't do any weird pilling. It just dried really nicely. It didn't make my eyelid feel tight at all. The only thing that kind of, like, I was bummed about was that it is a transparent formula. So I could see all the little veins on my eyelid, which I'm really not used to because I do use, there was a sneeze. Bless you. I do use the uh, MAC Painterly Paint and Pot, as I said, and this sucker packs a punch, covers everything. So I'm really excited that I found a formula like this. It's very, very nice. I'm excited to use it in the future. You know, we'll see how everything wears, um, if it, you know, dulls down the eyeshadow or not. I didn't set the eyeshadow either before I put eyeshadow, or didn't set the primer before I put eyeshadow on. So we'll, we'll see. And the eyeshadow palette here. I do really, really like Violet Voss. I really, really like their formula. I thought that, you know, there's fallout. That's fine. It's not really firmly pressed. It's not a big deal to me. There's more color payoff this way. Um, I wish that there just would have been like a little more versatility in the shadows themselves. Like I wish the colors, the bright colors, like the green and, you know, one of the pinks is matte. The purple, the purple would have been such a pretty matte. And I really wish that maybe, you know, they would have made those matte, not shimmer, but I'm, I'm sure I can find a way to use all of them. I thought the application was great. They blended out really well. Any fallout I had really did wipe away very easily, so I'm very happy about that. I'm really happy to have another Violet Voss palette in my collection, of course. So, have you guys tried any of these products before? What are your thoughts? Please let me know down below. What did you get in your boxy this month? Was it way different than mine? Were you happy? Were you disappointed? I'd love to know your thoughts. If you haven't yet, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. Uh, please hit the bell for all notifications of further uploads and live streams. Like the video if you did like the video, or you could like the video if you really like $50 jars of Glam Glow because, oh my gosh. But I hope everyone is having a wonderful May, and uh, hopefully things are calming down where you are, and I hope you're having a great day. See you later, guys. You just turn it on and then you start vaping, so there's no way we can check the sound because you're not making any sound. I'm making sound. All right, we'll see how it sounds. <laughs> yeah, I'm listening to Thriller. <laughs>